Yes, we're back. We're back again in Train Sim. We're back again for, well, another line, basically. Uh, one that I've only purchased uh, this morning. Um, the West Highland Line Extension. Um, and, yeah, trip up to Scotland. Uh, I'm not even going to try and do any accents. Well, I just ha did. And, yes, haggis on the railway. That is going to be a thing. You've got to be really careful about wild haggis. Uh, they can run in front of the trains and everything. So we've got to keep an eye out for that. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're new to my videos, welcome indeed. Uh, trains going out on the channel every single Wednesday. Something from OMSI on a Monday. Something from Fernbus on a Friday. Every other Saturday is flight. The opposite Saturday is uh, tourist bus. And some other stuff chucked in there on some other days as well. Uh, sticky haggis. Well, that's uh, some sort of medical condition. Uh, you want to be careful of that. And hi, Len. So, yes, uh, going to be doing this one. Uh, so take a, a summer tour special train from Malag, mm. or Malag, 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 uh, to Fort William, stopping at all the stations en route. Yeah, I'm going to pronounce everything wrong, aren't I? So apologies to any uh, Scottish people that are going to be watching this. I My pronunciation will not be correct. Uh, it's a class 37 as well, which I have had a sneak peek in. I made sure that it ran earlier and uh, instantly... Um, had my emergency brakes put on because I didn't have a token so it's going to go well and hi Forza and thank you for the host Forza so yeah not done the line it's a two hour trip so it's not a six or seven hour which uh, I really enjoyed I do like those long trips Hi, NT. And yes, bought this in the sale, uh, which if you're watching this on YouTube is long gone. Um, but uh, yes, train sim is dangerous. You're supposed to be there today. What, Scotland? So I'll wait for it to load. It's very diesel-y. The downside that I've found so far is the world's smallest window to look out of. Yes, it's a dangerous place, as Chaos found out this morning in the sales. Have I seen SCS have a sale on? Oh, that'd be dangerous, because the only thing I need to get from SCS is some of the um, deliveries. And I've got everything then. All right, when it eventually loads, of course. Which I'm sure it'll do at uh, some point soon. American stuff. I don't know why. I just got no inkling to um, go for American stuff. I haven't got the latest version of Pro Mods yet. Uh, hi, Roxy. Welcome to uh, Loading Simulator 2020. Oh, there we go. A Scottish summer. Welcome to Malague. Allow passengers to board while you contact the signaller at uh, Banavi uh, to enter the RETB system and permission to proceed out of Malague. Okay, so I've got the other passengers on. I'll pop some lights on. So, I've got to do something. Before entering a service, test token needs to be successfully received. I need a chance to read that. How am I supposed to? Okay. Make call button. Which, yeah. That's useful. On the radio. Two, two, seven, eight, signal, family, over. Two two seven eight signal on the beat. State your message over. Two two seven eight. Request to enter the system over. Two two seven eight. Press receive to accept test token over. Press the CDU receive button now. Okay, that one I'm guessing. Two two seven eight. Now have test token on display over. Two, two, seven, eight. Press send to enter system. Over. Press the CDU send. 
Okay. Press the cabin radio make call button to request a radio token to proceed. Two two seven eight signal bangle B over. Two two seven eight signal bangle B. State your message over. Two two seven eight requesting token to proceed over. Two two seven eight press receive to accept token over. Press receive. That was long winded. Two two seven eight Mali to go in thin long section token on display over. Two two seven eight Mali to go in thin long section token confirmed. You have permission to pass the direction stop board at Mali and proceed to the DSP at Glen Thin over. Two two seven eight understand now your permission to pass the DSP at Mali and proceed to the DSP at Glen Thin out. Well, that was complicated. Uh, right anyway, here's our train. Uh, high rail fan. Uh, so class uh, 37 that we're in. And uh, we're stopping at... Uh, I can't read that. Mora. Uh, there's some places. I, I can't read that colouring. We'll work it out as we go along. Uh, right then, so... Brakes off. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm already getting annoyed by the seagulls. Welcome to my lake. They come across some tourist bus, yeah. Got the token. So 2.58 miles to Mora. Mora. Well, it's stopped now. Yeah, it's almost as though, oh, they re they designed the thing and thought, oh crap, we better give the driver something to look out of. Press the make call button to inform the signal we are clear of the station limits. Oh god, okay. Two two seven eight Uh Scotland. As you can tell by the rain. Is this a modern version of a class 37? I'm guessing so. It's nice and easily. Yep. Okay. Afternoon, Michael. See, so, yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of radio stuff to do on this end, by the looks of things. I'm liking the noise it's making. Okay, AWS for some reason. It is a little... Is it How's the horn? Yeah, 
Yeah, horny. Oh, I'm speeding. Sounds nice. Looks nice, just dreary rain. We've got an interior view. Oh, that sounds quite therapeutic. Alright, Mora is coming up. In a mile. I'm guessing we'll have to inform someone on the radio that we've got this far. You could definitely live in an old passenger compartment. Yeah, that's just... I remember travelling on these things when I was younger, not in first class, obviously. They're just coming out of service, those slam door compartments. You can take those holiday cottages, aren't there, that are basically old railway carriages. I think that could be quite cool. To look close to those rocks. That was a 1980s compartment. I'm guessing around that era, so they'd have just been sort of phasing out when I was really young then. Yeah, I've only been to Scotland once. dark and dreary in here it's just uh, the window is actually not bad it's just the fact they got the radio shoved here sort of limits the view somewhat okay braking is going to be interesting And some of the carriages fit on. The window's open. Oh yeah. It's like the windows you get on the HSTs, isn't it? You just pull down an open door from the outside. I used to love those. So quite a few stops. Brakes release fast if you hold it in release. Okay, right away. The next station is Arisag. Pronouncing that wrong, obviously. Really slow departure. Does sound nice. Speeding. So you've got to keep that token then until we clear the single section. What is the beeping? The level crossing. It caused all these cars. To, oh God! It caused all these cars to uh, have to wait. Okay, they can go again now.
does sound nice. Oh, he wants to speed. That's a cool horn. Now I'm speeding again. I think that with no points at the end of this. Right, a 30 limit coming up. I hope it's not all at these slow speeds. Diesel noise, though. That is quite nice. I wonder if it would be raining the whole trip as well. Scotland, I'm just imagining it probably would be. Slowing down. On oh, the speeding, I'm slowing down. I've got the AP weather pack, yes. And the track enhancement pack, which makes the rails look uh, more raily. I think this is definitely going to be one of those that, a bit like um, X-Plane, it's those little tiny things that make the difference. You know, the track enhancement, the weather, the, well, the danger that is Armstrong Powerhouse. Which, if anybody's watching the stream and hasn't heard of the Armstrong Powerhouse, uh, if you put exclamation mark Armstrong in the chat, it will provide a link to a dangerous dangerous place that no one should enter. The station lighting pack is good. Oh, I haven't seen that one. There you go. I'm not 100% sure, Michael. I'm guessing so. Downside of the weather pack is unless you've got to find third pack scenarios that use it, you won't see it. Oh. The track one works with all the scenario, all the maps, though, doesn't it? It makes the track look better. I'm interested in the, um, the station lighting one, though, if that works. Obviously, it only works if you're doing routes at night. Yeah, but you have to remember to reinstall the track EP every time you install a new route. Oh, I've only ever installed it once. Uh, blame Chaos, he linked it. So what I'm seeing there isn't enhanced track then, it's standard track. There's also the Just Trains one as well, if you, <laughs> you're going for it.
What the hell was that? Sort of cow in distress. Yeah, I'm liking the loco. Initially, I was thinking it's like looking for a postage stamp, but it isn't that bad, actually. You see, if the radio was down lower, then you'd bang your head on it going into there, I suppose. Quite a slow line, though. Steve, you maybe buy so many more routes. Well, that's what I see. I'm just sticking to the UK stuff. I won't be happy until I have all of the UK stuff. He does that. Well, I can just stop streaming trains. But I was going to do some more on Friday. If you don't want to see it, then that's fine. You're only allowed to stream three things from now on. <laughs> well, Lawa keeps making me buy stuff. Oh, I'm a pain in the ass without that. Making. Exactly. Well, you send me links to things. I click on them and buy them. That's what it. That's how it works. It's always someone else's fault. Yeah. Okay. Blame you for the amount of ETS 2 and ATA you maybe buy. Well, it's a thing, it happens. But yeah, I am certainly liking uh, Train Sim more and more. the single track section goes on for yes yeah, so I'm gonna get an interruption during the stream I've left a note on my front door I'm expecting some uh, things from Amazon um, so my doorbell is gonna ring during the stream but I've left a note to say just leave it on the recycling bin yeah I, I love it chaos so if I am if I'm not at work um, next week, because uh, I haven't heard yet, um, then I'm going to do another long one. What noise is my doorbell? Oh, you'll hear it. Stop, might have actually stopped raining. My doorbell should be the same as the nation sound. How annoying that would be. I'm guessing that was warning me of a crossing or the uh, speed limit change. It's certainly a very picturesque line. Find out where you live that have a pressing all the time. Yeah. I'm 
Right, down to a 15. We're still on the single track section then, we've still got that token. Uh, I'm guessing so. Oh, there's a light. Uh, I didn't set the wind in golf. But that course was ridiculous. Should be there for the start of the stream tonight. Might have to go for dinner. That's fine. So it's not so bad in Omsi because uh, people just come and go. Oh, don't stop that soon. Be like none of the carriages on. What noise? So this is on sale at the moment. This line, eighteen dollars, I think it was. So which is technically free. See, there's no way that would have fitted on anyway. Uh, so, yeah, there's definitely places we're going to. But I can't read. Beesdale. Something. Glenfinnan, I can see. Yeah, there's some places. Does sound nice on tick over. I could just sit and listen to that all day. Well, not all day because that'd just be quite sad. But I could sit and listen to it for a while. So there should be an improvement for those of you watching this live in uh, audio quality. Hopefully tomorrow. Uh, I've had my new mixing desk turn up. Um, so I'm going to uh, do some wire wrangling tomorrow morning, and hopefully for tomorrow afternoon's stream, which I don't know what that will be yet. Uh, we should have better audio, hopefully. Once I get my head around it. So many buttons, so many knobs. If you click on the panel, it makes it darker. Really? Oh, yeah, you actually click it down. Okay. So, Beesdale, Lockerlaw, Glenfinnan. Yeah, that place. Uh, another lock. Uh... Yeah, that place, uh, Benavi. Fort William, I, know, I can pronounce that. And we're stopping at Fort William. So, yeah, there's some places. And we got rain again. It's obviously vacuum powered. Isn't Glenfin in the Harry Potter viaduct? Yeah, I think it's it's pictured on the information. Right, the next station is Beesdale. The guard has confirmed the passengers have requested to alight at the station. Oh, so request stop. Jeff Marshall, if you please. Yes, we're going to cross the Harry Potter viaduct. Shame it's not in a steam train. That just sounds really nice. Let's 
speeding. The train's called Uwuli. Yeah. Problem is, Chaos, it doesn't work with every every train. I've been looking at them for a while. Um, don't forget you can configure your throttle quadrant to work. So you can have your throttles as the uh, one as reverser, one as brake, one as um, throttle. Here's some software, free software to do it. I just use the WAS and D keys. Press the make call button to inform the signal we aren't clear of the station limits. Okay. Two two seven eight signaler final over. Two two seven eight signaler final Station message over. Two two seven eight half past the station limit marker over. Two two seven eight confirm you have passed the station limits marker. Right? You could spend your morning being mildly annoyed at transport fever. Only mildly. It's a game only annoys you when you turn it off and uninstall it. That's the point when you get annoyed. is the throttle quadrants on a slider isn't it so you'd have to have it so that it would be a progressive movement that would be quite cool to do because my throttle quadrants always plugged in well, if you get it working chaos let me know If I get it working, yeah, exactly. I'm sure Lara had sent me a link to it before, but I just looked at it and went, without the same one, I looked at it and went, too complicated. I think I could get it to be recognised, but I couldn't actually work out how to assign a thing to it. But yeah, the rail driver, they're expensive, but they don't work with every train. So you don't, you'd be able to use it for some and not for others, and to me then that's pointless. I'm surprised no one's come out with a cheaper alternative. Oh, they don't work with AP. Oh, there you go then. I guess we're only going to have a 30 limit for the whole of the, uh, the run. It's slightly cold and dark in the 172 this morning. It's, again, I, what I'd recommend, Dylan, is um, stay with that one plane. Clock up some hours in it. So, you know, start cold and dark, get it set up, pl plumber route in, taxi, take off, fly somewhere, taxi, shut it down, and then do the same. It gets you used to uh, controlling the plane, and then we do go up to something a bit bigger. Um, you've got, you know, the basics of controlling it, but each plane lands differently. So different landing speeds, uh, the wings will act differently. But the 172 is awesome. I'm going to do a flight stream on uh, Saturday afternoon, I think, looking at the new air hauler software. And with a chance to uh, give a copy away. Oh, we're going downhill. Yeah, they all crash the same, yeah.
Well, again, I've, I've always, from the get-go, started a plane cold and dark. That's half the thing for me. And I've got, I've, I've got some that I can't start, but I refuse to do the what I think is cheaty method and just press the start with engines running. Trying to keep below 30. There's probably a box you could. No, I think there's a box. Oh, that's loud. And there are a box you can tick on the load screen to say start with engines running. Jaffa! I thought he was at work. Oh, you finished work. Or was it your lunch break? You're having solitary lunch again. Sat on your own in an empty room. Extreme social distancing. Room to yourself. What's the exciting lunch today? Is it another sandwich? Couldn't find any setting. People have said that there are things you can do in the config files. But BLT, oh nice. Is it nice and toasty in my room today? Uh, let me just pause track IR. It is... 28.3 Yeah, I just had uh, some ham salad sandwiches for lunch which were very nice Or does this go to the um, the, the thingy one? You know, the, the one, the, the thingy one. How's my pet? He's fine. Listen to Planet Rock. You know, the place, the, 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 the one. Does this go to that one? I can't remember seeing it on the thing. The what's it's called? Yeah, you know the one. The the, the one. The place. The one that Jeff Marshall has been to a few times. The one in the middle of nowhere. I need a psycho cam. You don't have a clue what I'm talking about. But that's normal, isn't it? it begins with C. That doesn't help, does it? Christmas. <laughs> I don't think there's a station called Christmas. Right away, next station is Loch Yeah, that place. The guard has been confirmed that passengers are requested to alight at this station. Carrots. Kank. That's not how you spell kank guru. Garden chips. That's a K, Jaffa. Karaw. That's the one. Or Karawa. And this doesn't go to Karawa then, does it? I can't remember seeing it on there. Glenfinnam, Lucky Lock, Lock to Do, Corpac. No, it doesn't. Okay, so now I need a route that's going to Karawa. Which does look a stunning station.
I couldn't think of the name of it, could I? It was a, a place with the thing and the name. The thing. Again, it's one of those on the bucket list. The place I'd love to visit is Corral Station. Isn't Corral on the South East Coast Main Line? Ah, uh, I don't know. Scottish East Coast Main Line. Yeah, that, that one. The place, you know, the one, the line. That's the Scotland on the east side. Tunnel. Very narrow tunnel. This train reminds me of one of the trains from Chuggington. I'm quite glad to say that I've never seen Chuggington. I'm guessing it's something like Thomas the Tank Engine. Wow, it's doing me a bit of a downhill stretch. Yes, yeah, Scotland indeed. Oh, it's on the West Highland Line South. Oh, that makes sense. Change platforms in Fort William and get the Glasgow train that takes you past Corral. Definitely one of those places to uh, put on the list to go and visit. Isn't Balamori set in Scotland somewhere? Mm, don't know. Again, never watched Balamori. Breaking much. You think they build these railway lines in, on straight bits of track without having to knock, knock holes in things? Wasn't he one of the Wombles, Tobermory? Cold showers for me. Don't get my plumbing fixed till tomorrow. Oh. Just don't shower. I think Brunel built these ones. No. They should have hired him. He probably wasn't doing much else. Famously had a lot of free time, Brunel. We've got a statue of him here in Swindon. The whole PC just crashed for some reason. Too much porn. the Wombles are named after places. Tobermory. That's the only one I can think of. <laughs> I've run out of Wombles when you name one. Great Uncle Bulgaria. He 
you've never watched the Wombles. There's probably a rubbish we make we we remake of it. Wellington. Well, it's a Womble called Wellington. Yeah, Orinoco, I remember. Is that the Wellington in Somerset or the Wellington in Australia? Wow, this does look nice. And we're still on this single track, so obviously trains aren't too frequent. If we've been going 45 minutes and we've had to get the token to come in. You think transport fee did something weird? It'd be unusual for a game to crash your PC. called Essex. Essex. <laughs> they probably have a Chav Womble now. Tomsk. Yeah, where's Tomsk? Oh, I don't know. Google it. Definitely liking the uh, the engine noise. Named after Wellington School in Somerset. There you go. Don't do the speeding thing. Don't do the speeding thing. You're doing the speeding thing. I told you not to do the speedy thing, and you didn't listen, did you? Adidas tracksuit, hand down tracksuit bottoms, bottoms halfway down the legs, Womble. Exactly. So, pineapple then. I think you should do a steam train on Friday. Oh God. Really? Are you getting popcorn in? Ready? Sadly, trains that understand English, you only understand levers. Uh, only until Tesla does a train. Tomsk is in Russia. Ah, oh, well, there you go. Right. Uh, Lock Elliot? Lock Elliot? Well, actually, I've just been, I've just had an email. I've just been given a Steam key for, I was reading it just as I was going along that first bit, uh, for Derail Valley Improved or something, asking me to do a review on it. But I've already owned the game, I think. Overhauled, that's the kitty. Is that a DLC then? See, I think I only played Derailed once. Hi Sam. You're, don't look at this line, Sam. You'll hate it. Look away. Avert your eyes. Yeah, I, I love looking at the email. I literally, I just saw it come through and was like, what? Uh, West Highland Line Extension.
and it's oh it's horrid sam you'd absolutely hate it look at it it's just disgusting scenery the train's horrible it's on sale which is technically free you're in wet scotland sounds about right is there anywhere in kilts no but we have nearly killed a couple of wild haggis because you've got to be careful for those what i'm trying to break hang on Tell me to adjust my radio frequency when I'm in the middle of braking. Oh, that'll do. One of the carriages can get off. Where are we going today? Our final destination is Fort William. It has the bridges. But this has got a Oh, diesel. What's not to like? And we got to do radio stuff as well. From Penzance. No, not from Penzance. You've got to play with a radio. Right away, the next station is Glenfinnan. Sounds like a place where whiskey's uh, um, grown. Because, you know, they grow whiskey on trees. I think it's a, it's a real fact. Turn it up. Oh, you know what you need to do, Chaos? Uh, exclamation mark thingies, just to help um, help Sam out. Yeah, so there's that one. You shouldn't click on that link, Sam. And there'll be another one along in a second. Whatever you do, don't click on that. Yeah, don't, 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 you know, Sam or anybody, do, do not click on those links. Don't, don't do it. And if you do, we are not responsible for anything you end up buying. You have been warned. Oh, that's nothing. Wait till Chaos tells us how much he spent this morning. Um, who needs score? We can learn everything we need to know from me. Exactly. Go to Scotland. You've got to look out for the wild haggis and um, they grow whiskey on trees. That's it. That's all you need to know about Scotland. And the men wear skirts. That's, that's just all you need to know. Steve can be science teacher. Yeah, he went on Steam and five minutes later, he's £115 down. Yeah, that's why I haven't looked that much. I only buy what Lara tells me. Oh, well, that'll balance out, Sam. Trust us. Real men wear kilts, indeed. I think we should uh, all charge back our DLC expenses to you, Steve, like you would with a work cut. What? I should go self a self-employed YouTuber. I could claim all the cost of the uh, DLCs as uh, expenses. It's for speeding again. Doesn't that look nice? Well, yeah, you've got a lot of routes and a lot of trains, isn't you? So it's worth getting it when it's on sale and you've always got it. I think from a, an experience point of view, Sam, that um, they're both just as good as each other. 
as far as the amount of time you can spend and the variety of um, trains, the variety of routes. I love the freedom we get with flight, but I, I just I just find this so relaxing. Is Peter on board? God, I hope not. He'd be playing in the toilet if he was. That's the only thing he talks about on his trip to Scotland by train was he went to the toilet and like pressing the buttons to open the doors. Uh, this is West Highland Line Extension and the um, Jacobite Tractor. The main item for me was a 158 slash 9, which is £2.39. I know. I haven't really bought many locos. Because I just generally try and stick with the ones that come with the, the line. We're still on that single track section. I'm not disagreeing with you, Sam. I'm just saying that they've both got that something that just sucks you in. That you don't get with any other sim. aircraft have jet engines that suck you in. Well, yep, that's something you only do once. I am absolutely loving this. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed the really long journey of the day. Uh, I said if I'm not back at work next week then I'll plan another one. anymore do you on modern trains now because they weld the tracks together so it's one continuous track basically they weld and grind you don't get the clickety clack clickety clack that you used to when it was uh, lengths of track Yeah, there is a picture look that's the uh, that's the Harry Potter viaduct Sa God Sam sounds like the flight version of Pina That's it. That's the, that's the ultimate insult, isn't it? That's the one. <laughs> Imagine a vibrational high-speed train to be horrible if they didn't. Yeah, exactly. Where is a diva today? I think he's realised he's been sacked from the bus company, so he's got off gone off on a bit of a hissy fit. Well, he was given 13 days to get his passenger satisfaction up by 4% and he never bothered. So I sacked him this morning. Look at that for a view. Oh, 
I would let him come back once he got his passenger rating up to 80%. But he's bringing the company rating down by not bothering. Yeah, that's fine. He's not interested in the bus company anyway. I said it won't be long before he, he leaves the server. Uh, I got my shadow tech activated today. Just installed Train Sim 2020. Nice one. Always. We stop raining. I can't believe we're still on this single track section. So it can't be a very frequent service if we can only have one train every. Well, we've been going an hour. Oh, there you go. Unshaven. J just for you. Whatever you do, don't click on those. Well, at least we're pulling Dylan away from the dark side. He's enjoying buses, but he's starting to enjoy flight. So let's hope for Dylan. hope for me oh god no you'll be on hope you're just a lost cause but your passenger rating's fine so we're tolerating you nope he won't be on stream tonight he won't like that when he realizes Planes and trains for me currently. I do enjoy ETS2. Um, I tolerate OMSI. If it wasn't for the fact that it's so popular on YouTube, I would quite happily stop doing OMSI. I don't know, he might have left the server. His train sim can be expensive, a bit like flight can be. So if it's a Glenfinnan viaduct is what we're going to go over, it's either going to be before or after Glenfinnan, I'm guessing. Oh, I shall still do OMSI, but I said if it wasn't for the fact that it goes down well on YouTube, then I would stop. But I only do OMSI when I have to do OMSI. I wouldn't think, oh, I know, I'll play some OMSI. Look at that lovely, horrible, dirty diesel smoke. Uh, I use keyboard. So basically just W, A, S and D keys. And I've had... Um, the brake keys remapped so they work with my gaming keypad so the brakes on and off are R and P for me yeah with flight and trains I'm going to keep it quite basic try not to spend too much you don't need to with flight you honestly don't need to flight is the one you know that default 172 is fantastic uh, there's free aircraft out there that are good and um, there's, there's plenty we haven't got to spend anything. Trains can be trickier because there's not a lot of free stuff for trains. 
Um, OMSI, obviously, there's a load of free stuff, but a lot of it's rubbish, despite what Pina says. Um, but when you can't afford to buy the DLC, you've got to stick with the free stuff, haven't you, sir? So. It's not a very quick line, this one, but I'm really enjoying it. Well, yeah, the Zebo, the Robin, there's loads of good free stuff. Oh, I haven't really looked at the free stuff for um, Train Sim. Hello. Again, this ticks another box for me because it's diesel and there's a few miles between stops. And the slower speed means it's a bit of time between stops. So this is uh, a really, really relaxing line. You're not whizzing along. You're not really worried about lots of signals because you're the only train on the track. So this is one I would probably do again myself just to sit and chill. Who doesn't like that noise? I'm going to fly X plane with all the extra add-ons. It looks amazing. I'll stick the D4 FSX. It's when you've got the money, Dylan. Jumping to X-Plane, you will notice a huge difference. Um, and again, as Sam said, once you've got X-Plane, there is a lot of free stuff that is actually really good. Obviously, one of the best jets in X-Plane, the, the Zebo, the 737, is free and is hugely payware quality. You know, all of us have said we'd quite happily pay 60, 70, 80 quid for that plane. It's so good. Um, the default 172 in X-Plane is stunning. Um, the Robin in X-Plane is stunning. Um, but you've got to make sure that your PC can handle it. That's the difference. Whereas at the moment, FSX, graphically a little bit down, but you've still got the same awesome experience. And there you go. Jump onto those sites there, Sam's just linked. Yeah, the 800 doesn't work for me, the 800X. I couldn't turn the battery master on. If we're in jets tomorrow, it'll be the Zebo again. Well, I really like that E175. I'll be tempted to use that again. Or maybe try something else with a default. Um, there's my door. That's my doorbell. I just hope now that they read my note, stick the box on the recycling box and bugger off. It's me thinking that was a new donation song. No, not quite. the 
about the Saab. Oh, the Saab 340 is awesome, but not free. Talk about break it to him gently, Dylan. Uh, this morning. Yeah, you've been furloughed. That's a better way to putting it. When you get your rating up, you can come back. But you haven't bothered getting your rating up in the last two weeks, so go and get your rating up and come back. Oh, you've got a 15 limit coming up. Yeah, but you're about as subtle as a flipping elephant in a china shop telling the poor kid. Colours this light. Yellow. <laughs> oh, Dylan. <laughs> as subtle as Sam. He's Sam Mark too. Well, so when you get your rating up, come back. But the rating was being dragged down. And you haven't bothered attempting to get it up. You had 13 days to get 4%. You haven't done it. So go and get your rating up. When you get to 80%, come back. You're obviously not interested in the company, so it's probably a good thing. He said before if he was sacked it wouldn't bother. He's not bothered, so. We've done him a favour. Oh, ah, this is the... Okay, so this is the halfway point, I'm guessing. I was employed to drive, not to give bad news well. <laughs> I like that. Right. Press the cabin radio make call button to request a token exchange token. So he's got to have the token now. Two two seven eight signaler on the over. Two two seven eight signaler on the state your message over. Two two seven eight stand unit direction stop board. Clear of the signal line. Requesting token to proceed. Over. Two two seven eight press send to accept token. Over. Two two seven eight. Ground thin to lock me light for a pound. Section token on display. Over. Two two seven eight. Ground thin to lock me light for a pound. Section token confirmed. You have permission to pass the direction stop board with ground thin and proceed to the DSB at lock me light for a pound. Over. Two two seven eight. Understand I have permission to pass the DSB at ground thin and proceed to the DSB at lock me light for a pound. Out. That's really cool. I like that. Right, so basically he would then take my token, technically, and go back the other way, which it used to be a physical thing that you would take. Um, so that only one train can be on that single line section. So now I'm clear, that train going the other way uh, can now go back, can now go as far as where we came from. You can see here, look, that's not used, so we're now on the single line section. So obviously only one train at a time can be on this. Uh, not Caledonia Express, no. 
But this is the Harry Potter viaduct up here, I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's up here somewhere. It's on this line. So the one at the beginning of Harry Potter where you see the steam train go over the viaduct. You're a wizard, Harry. Exactly. Peanut is Ron, Ron Weasley. Make the call button to form a signal we are clear of the station, okay? Two, two, seven, eight, yeah, Harry isn't ginger. So you can't be Harry. Oh, we didn't make you buy it. Well, we did slightly. We're blaming um, Larwood. And here it is. The Harry Potter viaduct. The one from the film. I think you've been rumbled, Chaos. I know I'm going quite slow, but this is quite cool. How dare you? <laughs> what, that, those links, you mean? You may, you may, oh, these links? Ah, uh, you can't do it, Peanut. Oh yeah, release the brakes. That'd probably help, wouldn't it? There you go, the Harry Potter viaduct. Yes, I did take a picture. I'm not sure if that'll be the thumbnail or not. When this goes on, yo chob. What a fantastic route this is so far. Insert magic wand here. Well, I say. This is really cool. Apart from the speeding. The channel should get a cut of this software costs. I should be on some sort of commission with Just Trains. Said the actress to the bishop, yeah. Forty? That's just extravagant. No one needs to go that fast, surely. Feels too quick. It 
Yeah, I think it would below 100, 150 is too slow for pineapple. I think I'm going to have to get the route now that's got Karawa in it. I'm going to have to go there. Don't stop for Dementors. Oh, indeed, yeah. Are we following the steps of Jeff Marshall? Yeah, virtually. God, that sounds so nice. Three point four miles to go to the lock place. Yeah, platform nine and three quarters. Yeah, <laughs> job. Oh, very good. That was quite quick, Lowell. Um, we've done London to Edinburgh. further you could get in train sim than Edinburgh not in one in one go Loch Ness no it's not this far up Done the London to uh, we've done Paddington to Penzance twice. I would like to do London to Edinburgh again, or maybe do Edinburgh to London this time because we did the app the other way round. So we've done it once, we've done London to Penzance in a pacer, and we've done Penzance to London in a 50. So maybe for the next long one, I should do Edinburgh to London in something different. live in Scotland where well, you're closer to Scotland than I am So relaxing. <laughs> Let's listen to it just beyond the distance. Uh, yeah, Beamish is supposed to be really nice. <laughs> he thought I dropped off. 
Oh, just listening to the train going off into the distance. Oh, you got to mess with the config files to do that thing. Ah, okay. Just waiting for the snoring sound. Oh, just quite a nice train just clattering off in the distance. The birds twittering. You're just all heathens and don't understand, tran under understand, appreciate tranquility. Steve snoring, psycho chirping. He's still downstairs chirping. Right, Lockel, Lockel, lock, the, the lock side place coming up here. Next. We were just flying and didn't know where the noise was coming from. What was that noise? And realised it was Gaz asleep. Oh, that's a view. We can get a bit more of the train on the station. Sam, thank you very much. The only way Lara never gets a subscription is when he gets it gifted to him. Some of the train was on the platform. Yeah, you got the first carriage. You're a seven month subscriber, Larwood. Right away, the next station is Lockheel Outward Bound. Uh, please be very careful on approach. The platform at Lockheel Outward Bound is very short. Make sure to position the first coach of your train in the middle of the platform. That's going to go well. It's my favourite train to drive. It's, that's a difficult one. Anything diesel. Because you don't get that with electrics. And that's one thing for me that almost marks um, Train Sim World down. That it shouldn't be about wandering around the train and you know putting up bicycle stands and repairing fences and putting up posters. It should be about driving trains.
and the fact that there isn't long routes. I, I don't think there ever will be long routes. No, there isn't really a multiplayer. We said this before. That it'd be cool if there was a multiplayer that you could have in Train Sim. Um, I'm surprised someone hasn't done it. I can't keep up with all the multiplayer stuff we've got going on now. Train station sim where you run your own train station. Even that could be quite interesting. Having to manage tickets and do the announcements and stuff. I've played one that's um, where you've got to build a train station actually. That was like a 2D thing. You have 90 hours plus in this and about three in Trains in World. Uh, I've only really got 202 in this. Imagine coming along this train and we were all like doing this route. How cool would that be? 1,284 hours in train sim. Wow, Lord. It's only been the last couple of months I've been doing more in it. Yeah, Train Sim Worlds on Xbox. Yeah, we need a sort of train management game. We know you've got low attention. That is just really cool. Anything from the trolley, dears? I've been watching, um, uh, I'm so lucky I live right next to the West Somerset Railway. It's from watching you, I'm really starting to see it. Well, thank you very much. Lovely part of the country down there. There's nothing really, when I stopped playing World of Warships, I was approaching two years of play time. Wow. Oh, well, I think World of Warships, Warcraft, World of Warcraft. I just find this just really, really relaxing. That's the thing that interests me. You don't get this much relaxation in OMSI. You don't get it in Firm Bus or Tourist Bus. Um, or even in flight, unless you're in the cruise. But this line is just stunning. Well, that's a problem. A lot of lines that would have been booming this time of year now, from Easter onwards, is that they're peak seasons. And a lot of these um, heritage lines where no one can go to them, you know, hopefully they'll be able to open up soon. I think once they do, there'll be an influx of people going back to them. And people who want to have days out and people, certainly if we're not allowed abroad, once we can holiday in the UK and go places in the UK, um, UK tour tourism hopefully will take a huge increase.
In what sort of period, though, did you accrue that Larwood? How much time was actually spent to get to that amount of time? Was it over like a 10 year period? Yeah, so I think all these heritage lines and charities, you know, any charity at the moment is is suffering. Time tables go back to normal one using a summer time table when you can take your journeys and go to the beach. Exactly. Wow, this is small. Right about there, I reckon. Yay, it opened. Press the cabin radio make call button to request a, f a radio token exchange. Two, two, seven, eight, seven, seven years. Five, Flipping eight, 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 Requesting token to proceed. Over. Two, two, seven, eight. Press send to accept token. Over. Next station is Corpach. Uh, depart when you have the next station token. Two, two, seven, eight. Lock in light for a time to Fort William. Section token on display. Over. Two, two, seven, eight. Lock in light or bound to Fort William. Section token confirmed. You have permission to pass the direction stop board to block in light or bound and proceed to Fort William. Over. Two, two, seven, eight. Understand I have permission to pass the DSB at lock in light or bound and proceed to Fort William. Out. And onwards. Yeah, take it easy, Sam. What a really relaxing route this has been. finished yet. We've got to make our way to Fort William. All McDonald drive fields will be open soon. Oh god. Imagine there'd be a queue of flipping team boy idiots. Well in theory, you still shouldn't be in a car with anybody else that isn't in the same house as you. Yeah, I bet as soon as they open there'll be like five chavs in a uh, in a fiesta going through McDonald's. Yeah, Derail Valley overhauled. I've been given a review key for. So, um, always have a look at that on uh, Friday. See what it's all about. Costa is making a drive through. Well, Costa had drive through for years, Pino.
We will be other Mackies when they open them on opening day. Yeah, that doesn't bother me, you see. I'll be glad when my local chip shop opens. Uh, Andy's, where I used to go on a Friday night last year. Uh, I will I will go back there. miles to Corpac. Yeah, 15th of June, non-essential shops, but I heard on the radio this morning that obviously shop workers are concerned that the, uh, the shops can't have things in place to keep them safe. So, well, it's not necessarily while you're working, it's having to use shared bathrooms and um, having to um, have a shared canteen area. Whereas you can't be that close to someone, then it should be open. Exactly. The shop should only open if it's safe to do so. I think that's why when I go back to work, it won't be in the office for a while because of having to, you know, share facilities. It's not so bad when I'm at my desk. Well, again, the news are saying that people are changing their shopping habits now. Um, the, they're getting used to buying stuff online and not going into shops and not buying stuff that they don't need. No one's going out and buy summer clothes when you can't go anywhere. Eight weeks has it been chaos, blimey. Yeah, I haven't worked. I didn't work for the whole of April or May. So I've been off work for the last two months. I said, I don't know yet as I'm streaming this anyway, uh, when I'm returning to work. I haven't heard anything about going back from Monday and um, if I don't hear by Friday night, then I won't be turning the laptop on Monday morning, which means there's a chance then it would be July. Which is probably okay for me. Had the uh, funeral date confirmed this morning of the 12th of June. So, uh, It'll be handy if I didn't go back to work. You're supposed to get a plan for office today. I should imagine my firm will be organising something, but we're owned by a brewery. Um, so once pubs open, we're going to be busy. So if pubs can open from July, then I think we'll be really busy. Only a couple of minutes late as well. I've been going slow at places, so we're not doing too bad. See, so yeah, I'm either expecting to get a letter through the post from work, or I'll get a phone call or an email. Some pubs can't do too many associates. It's not so bad in the summer because they could have everyone outside, but it's toilets. Only minus 909 points. Yeah, I know. That's pretty good for me. A lovely place this would be to visit. Got a lock here coming into an inlet. So a series of locks coming down to get you down out onto the lock. Locks onto the lock. Um, that just looks so nice. Oh, this is one of the best routes I've driven in a long time. It's just it's just relaxing completely. You know, it's 30 mile, 40 mile an hour limits. Uh, having to do the radio thing is really cool. Next station is Banavi. In a mile. 
Schools closed on the 18th of March, and I was off with suspected COVID-19 for a week before that myself. Blimey, so has it been? So you've been off, and you're not going to go back until September. Yeah, I remember you being off, stuck in your room. I came home. It was the end of March, I think it was. So I did a week working from home before we ended up shutting. So I think it's probably been since the end of March I've been at home. So less than a mile to go to Banavi. Every day feels the same. It does. I every day is exactly the same routine to me, regardless of what the day is. Apart from this morning, I had a bit of a housework flurry this morning. Did some polishing, some hoovering, did some washing, did some duvet wrestling. I was going to stream this morning, but then got stuck into that. I think it will be fine by September. We've got the meet-up in October, so it better be all be sorted by then. It sounds horrible. I just... I, I sat on the sofa. I got up at 6. Uh, I sat on the sofa till 7 and thought, well, I can't just sit here. I've got to do something. And then just started to get industrious. No, I like to do it in... I don't like spacing it out, see? I like to have a couple of hours burst at it and then do nothing for like a week. I have to get up in the night and watch the SpaceX launch now. Wasn't there one that launched, wasn't it the Virgin one that launched off a jumbo jet yesterday or something but failed? One thing I'm going to do miss is going out for meals. Yeah, I don't miss that. Apparently you had a shower at 4 a.m. Again, so you wet the bed again. Um, oh, that's a red. No, oh, it's going to be game. Oh, thank God for that. Whew. I thought I was going to be game over then for a second. You can't have thought it was morning at 4am. It was barely light because I got up and went for a pee. Oh, this looks cool. Look at that. So the road bridge has swung open as well to let a boat come through. That's pretty cool. What an awesome route this is. Activity rent a car.
That was really cool. It was up until one about this content. Arguably the greatest railway journey in the world comes to Train Simulator. Featuring stunning scenery and an all new class 37-4 diesel locomotive developed by Thompson Interactive. It's very really nice. The final station is Fort William. I don't think I've tried Wherry Lines. That would be nice in a steam train. I don't know if there's a scenario that involves a bit of steam. No, it can't end so soon. All good things have to come to an end. As I said, if I'm not back at work next week, I will do another long journey. Oh, 40, you come back. It's uh, still 28.9 in here, but I am mildly moist. Uh, now that I'm not sure of, Roxy, because I just bought the DLC and it may have been that I had everything else. Yeah, I'm currently getting through uh, three t-shirts a day. Because of streaming. I have to change when I come off the stream in the afternoon, put another t-shirt on. And then um, I'll keep that on to after the stream in the evening and uh, take that off after the stream and put another t-shirt on. I would love to go to this part of Scotland. So I'm gonna have to find that route and do Karawa. because that looks absolutely stunning. I'd love to see how it looks in this. Some old rolling stock there. Sleeper cars, I think. Slow it down towards the 15. See so if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you got this far. If you enjoy the train sim routes, uh, train sim not going anywhere on the channel. Certainly a lot more to come. And don't forget to check out the Discord server, a link to which I will leave in the description below. Uh, a fantastic Discord community. Um, with a lot of helpful advice on uh, how to depart you of your money uh, in anything relating to train sim. Oh, well, Rumsey, I'm doing good, thank you very much. Just about to complete an awesome journey. It's the West Highland South Line I need. Okay, I don't think I've got it. West Highland Line Extension, which is currently on sale on Steam, uh, the Train Sim Pro series. As I'm streaming this anyway, if you're watching this on YouTube, that was about a month ago.
At Fort William you should see Ben Nevis. Cool. Yeah, eight eight pounds seventy four for the south one. Oh blimey, right, I'll have to uh I'll have to pick that up then in the sale. Someone link it in Discord for me. Yeah, what an absolutely thoroughly enjoyable line and route. That was, a, again, a really quick uh, two hours. Train Sim just does that to you. Thanks, Chaos. And I know I'm going slower than I should, but I just don't want it to end. <laughs> so if you're watching this live, uh, I'll be back in three hours time uh, with something not quite as relaxing, uh, being shouted at by angry Germans in, um, in OMSI. Uh, a bit later than planned because of the uh, the bank holiday but we're doing that tonight tomorrow afternoon don't know what i'll be back with yet um tomorrow night though is a flight stream and then friday night i uh, may have another look at that derail valley then uh may give that a go on or friday afternoon rather and then friday night is uh, trucking where we're back in europe and Saturday night is uh, Scrap Mechanic. And um, Saturday afternoon might be some uh, some flight, but looking at air hauler. So still plenty of streams coming up. And said so once I know what I'm doing regarding work, um, I will uh, let you all know. Because I I, I've been really enjoying these afternoon streams. It's been a great way to break my day up. So if they carry on for another month, I won't be sad. Yes, yeah, so if you're watching this on uh, YouTube, the sale ended a long time ago because this video is probably not going out until July. Um, but it's worth keeping your eye out for it. Yes, yeah, scrap mechanic on uh, Saturday. Survival mode again. We're going to carry on. I can just listen to this thing ticking over. I, I do want to go to that uh, engine uh, museum thing in Wales. With all the different engines. I think that would be quite cool. Go to let passengers off. Two, two, seven, eight, signal, final B, over. Two, two, seven, eight, signal, final B, state your message, over. Two, two, seven, eight, clear of the signal line, request to return token, over. Two, two, seven, eight, clear of the signal line, press send to return token, over. Two two seven eight. Now have a blind display over. Two two seven eight. Blind display confirmed. Out. That's quite cool. Yeah, I, I shut the engine down. Right, why isn't it ending then? Fort William Platform 1. I have made the... Oh, have I got, have I got to uncouple? I just have things to do. Really?
stop at Port William. Ah, drop off the cars. Ah, there you go. That's the thing. we've got to move forward ready and then go around the cars Such a good route. Well done. Take a well-deserved rest. I will. That was flipping awesome. I absolutely loved that route. Thank you, Larwood, apart from all the speeding, uh, for recommending me uh, that. Um, that was fantastic. If you were... Uh, again, again... <laughs> Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube and you've got this far, you must be a train fan. So do please check out that Discord uh, community. It is linked below. I will link uh, the route below. It will be at full price probably, um, but it's worth keeping an eye out for. Well, I'd say buy it at full price just for that one scenario alone. Just just do it. Just go and buy it. Do it now. Go on. Off you go. Go and buy it now. Um, but yeah, hit subscribe uh, for more content for me. Trains every single Wednesday. Uh, OMSI on a Monday. Um, firm bus on a Friday. Every other Saturday is flight. The opposite Saturday is tourist bus with some stuff chucked in um, on other days as well. So to you guys watching, uh, thank you very, very much as uh, always. Um, thank you to Sam for gifting Larwood a sub. Thank you, Sam. I know he's back working again now. Um, and to you lot for chatting. Uh, I will be back in two hours and 56 minutes uh, with some OMSI. And yes, more trains on Friday. And maybe even tomorrow, we'll see. I'm just loving trains at the moment. Um, I could quite happily train, just, just stream trains every afternoon. I'd be quite happy with that. Um, wouldn't bother me at all. Um, so yes, back with uh, OMSI tonight. And then um, back tomorrow lunchtime with something as well. So enjoy the rest of your afternoon. And if you're watching this... No, I've lost my train of thought. Until the next time, if you have been... Thanks very, very much for watching. It's too hot.